My name is Gabriel Da, and I'm creating a 20 foot tall art installation made out of sewing thread at the lobby of 2100 Ross in downtown Dallas. I don't know exactly how much thread I'm going to be using for this particular piece, roughly estimating between 40 and 60 miles of thread. Because the installations are so ethereal, they become like this frozen rays of light in mid space. I start a dialogue with the space, installing the hooks. To me personally, that's the most challenging part. I set up a plan beforehand and I know sort of what precise steps to take to compose the installation. Basically, I use an extension pole that functions as some sort of giant needle. I have my assistant standing on the cherry picker. With the extension pole, I'm reaching towards the ceiling, and because I can't really reach the ceiling, the person up there grabs the thread and passes it through the hook, and then I just take it to the other side, to the other hook, and back and forth, so it's really like up and down, up and down. It becomes a very zen-like process because you're sort of getting the zone and I'm counting in my head because I have to be aware of what hook I did last. I really need to be concentrated. The process is very obsessive. Most of my work, not only the installations, but the rest of my practice um, has a big emphasis on obsessive work and repetition. Pushing a certain thing to its limit, it's something in my manner of being. I used to do drawings when I was a kid that were just, you know, you draw a line and then you shift and do a, another line, and then you have a curve, and I used to do tons of those drawings. At some point it hit me when I was doing these installations, I was doing those kind of drawings but in space, and I was really pushing the boundaries of what drawings used to be and really sort of putting some steroids on them. I used to be a graphic designer and I was really searching for some creative freedom. I decided to quit my job and I started doing art and I decided I wanted to become an artist and explore embroidery. And that came about because I remembered a frustration from my childhood. I grew up in Mexico and my grandmother would teach my sister to embroider and I wouldn't really dare to ask her to teach me because I was a boy and I kind of knew that that was forbidden for boys and it was not really allowed. In my mid-twenties I decided to explore that. It started off as a big experiment. That's when I had the idea of making some sort of architectural structure with sewing thread. And the aim of the show was to explore the relationship between fashion and architecture. There was a desire to make something that was much bigger than what I could achieve with just a needle and fabric. I called the series Plexus because these installations are like a network of thread, of connections between hooks. Plexus means a network of nerves in the body, so it became a good analogy for what the installations are. It really becomes alive when you move around it. It almost makes the piece kinetic art even though it doesn't move. You have all this succession of lines and layers of lines that because of how they land in place, they really start messing up with your eye perception and your depth perception. You can see it both as a curse and a blessing that you cannot really photograph the pieces and you cannot experience them and see the full depth of what they are just in a photograph. They make beautiful photographs, but they're, you just cannot convey the, the, the richness of the work. <laughs>